today I'm gonna see if I can protect shoes with a spray. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Maybe you get a new pair of shoes and they are gleaming white just like this, all bright, looking purdy, and you wanna keep them looking purdy, even though you're gonna wear them outside through puddles, rain, mud, dirt, grass, whatever it might be, and they are gonna look pretty ragged pretty quickly. So, I picked this up. It's actually by Kiwi, which makes shoe polish and things like that. I've used those products from them before, but this one is called Boot Waterproofer. Now, I don't know that you have to use this only on boots, but I think that it is meant for these types of things especially leather which can actually be hard to waterproof but i thought something like this might actually keep shoes that are made of things like this canvas looking good looking new and so i thought we would try it out and see if it works so oh, what i will tell you here is the bottle is 10.5 ounces which is actually bigger than some of the other shoe protectors i will also say that the instructions say here to make sure that your shoes are clean new shoes probably are best and then spray a coat of this over the shoes then you want to wait four hours so you don't want to use this too quickly but four hours to let it cure a little bit and then put on another coat so that second coat is going to help make it more durable now i do think that sometimes these coatings wear off after six seven months and so if your shoe looks pretty good you might want to put on a second coating but if nothing else i think it's just going to extend the life of your shoe out another six months which is really nice and actually could be a really good case for buying this because this is probably cheaper than buying shoes so what i want to do here is i've got a brand new pair of cheap canvas shoes and i want to go ahead and spray one of these shoes and then we will torture test it and see if the spray actually works all right so i have one shoe here it is the left shoe and i have my kiwi spray this is brand new i actually have just an old furnace air filter that it's sitting on to make sure that catches the overspray and all i'm going to do here is go ahead and spray this on kind of like i am using a rattle can to spray paint something and it's going on very liquidy. You might be able to see that. It's actually going on very, very easily. Some of the sprays I've used in the past are just a little bit goopy, but this is going on very wet, which is actually a good sign. It makes it really easy to put on. All right, so there's my first coat. It actually looks like the shoe has been out in the rain because it is damp. So what I'm gonna do now is wait four hours, put on a second coat, and then torture test it. Okay, it's been a few hours since I put on the first coat, and before I put on my second coat here, I wanna show you that this Kiwi spray here looks like it has changed the color of the shoe just barely. Now this was a bright white. Here's the untreated shoe. You can see here the canvas and this rubber right here is bright white. This still looks pretty white although maybe it has just a little bit just the faintest yellowish tinge but it's most noticeable right here on this rubber here so that is kind of something that i can see obviously different it actually looks like it's sun faded a little bit that's kind of what it strikes me as so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and add the second coat here because you know if you have white shoes and they are both just slightly yellow well then no one will notice. But if you're only gonna spray one shoe, then it's gonna be a problem. Now, if you have colored shoes, you know, dark brown or a blue or something like that, it may be less noticeable. So we will go ahead and let this dry and then torture test it. All right, it's been 24 hours and I'm back here in the bathtub because we will definitely try out this coating. And what I wanna show you here is that that little yellow tinge has definitely become a permanent yellow tinge and maybe most notably on the rubber soles here but obviously you can see it up here on the canvas now when i put them side by side it is pretty obvious it kind of looks like it is sun baked or a little old or weathered or vintage or something now i will say that i did try using the spray on some other shoes some colored shoes some gray shoes blue one of them was kind of a gray and white thread and i can't see this yellow color on anything except this bright white shoe here. So if you're going to use these on bright white sneakers, canvas shoes, this can definitely happen. I will also say that maybe I applied too much of this, but I feel like more is better. Oh, oh, oh. Now it also says it's for boots. So maybe the impermeableness of leather, kind of that slicker fabric is what it's meant to go on. And maybe it's reacting with the chemicals in here. These are an $8 pair of shoes that I wanted to try these out on. And like I said, I didn't see the yellowing on any of the other shoes. So take that for what it's worth. But now what I want to do here is do my old reliable 
chocolate milk test and pour it on both shoes and see if the spray actually works. We're gonna go on the untreated shoe first. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it on, try to get it to sit there a little bit. The shoe actually has some repelling characteristics of its own. Okay, so got it pretty well doused there. And now we are going to try it on the treated side. And again, I'm going to try to get it to pool there as much as humanly possible. It's actually running off, beating off quite a bit here, but there are some low spots there that I'm trying to get it to sit in. And a little more here, and a little more here. All right, so it's all my chocolate milk there. And this is the spray we're using. Obviously you can see it running all over there. And I will say that at first glance, looks like this soaks into the material, whereas this definitely kind of sits on top a little bit more. Now, obviously it's kind of sticking, so I'm gonna go ahead and hose this off and see what the final results are. All right, so I have thoroughly rinsed these off here, and what I want to show you here is that there is some definite staining, even though I've rinsed very thoroughly, especially around the toe here, we can still see the remnants of the chocolate milk a little bit on the side here, but actually for rinsing these off, they actually aren't that bad. Now, one thing I will say is that I rinsed it off right after I poured them on, so it's not like it sat there. It's not like you spilled something on your shoe, you were out all day in the sun, baking it into the fabric, and then you got home and rinsed these off. So I'm doing it really quickly. Now, I will say it looks like I don't have any chocolate staining on this particular shoe. I actually thought some of it might stay there because it was pooling here on the tongue, but I don't see anything. So I will tell you that you can see that the water's beating up on the side there, but I will tell you that I'm actually pretty impressed. I think it did a pretty good job of repelling the staining that you will get from certain stuff. Now, that doesn't mean the spray itself doesn't stain, because obviously it does here, but I guess it just depends on what you want. And like I said, on some of my colored shoes, I sprayed this on and I can't tell any difference between the original color and after I sprayed it. So I think it's really either this material or just the fact that this is a bright white. So I will also say that this stuff goes a long way. So 10.5 ounces, it doesn't seem like a big can, but I was able to spray and cover with two coats, five pairs of shoes with a can. So I think it's actually a pretty good value because this is only seven or eight dollars. A lot of these shoe sprays and these high-end shoe sprays are 20 bucks and I've kind of noticed that you get about two pairs of shoes worth of treatment out of it. So if you want to protect your shoes with a good value spray, then I would definitely check out this Kiwi Boot Waterproofer. Might extend the life of your shoe. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.